Good morning, fifth grade. Happy Tuesday. Today's March 31st, the last day of March. Um, so I'm going to start today with some devotions for March 31st. God's word comes to us from Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. Got my Bible. Deuteronomy 7, verse 9. Here we go. And God's word says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. It's a good reminder today, right? God is God. He's got us. So here we go. It's called From Death to Life. Mr. and Mrs. Buckman are an older couple at my church. Mrs. Buckman had a stroke and walking is difficult. Well, Mr. Buckman had a stroke and walking is difficult for him. He moves slowly with a cane. He needs help even with the simple things. Mrs. Buckman is in better health. She cares for her husband. He leans on her when he walks and she does and she does for, for him many of the things that he cannot do for himself. When I watch this couple, I think about two things. First, I'm sad, as I realize that nothing in life lasts. Mr. Buckman was once an officer in the United States Army. He was a strong leader of soldiers, and now he needs help with almost everything. Because of sin in the world, we will all die. For those who live to be old, Bodies and minds often become frail and weak. And second, the second thing I think about is God's faithfulness. That fills me with joy. Mrs. Buckman is a wonderful example of faithfulness as she patiently helps her husband. Surely she must tire of doing so much for him, yet she never leaves his side. She smiles as she cares for him. Well, our Heavenly Father is more patient and faithful with us. He did not leave us in our sin. He gave us eternal life when he sent Jesus to die on the cross. He never stops loving and forgiving us, even when we sin and disappoint him. He never leaves us, even if we forget he's by our side. Someday, we will live with him in heaven, where there will be no more suffering and tears. During the season of Lent, we remember the sad and deadly price of our sin. We also rejoice in the forgiveness and eternal life in Jesus, who paid that price for us. So today, fifth grade parents, families, um, don't forget, God's got us. He already paid the price. Um, and let's remember that and praise him for it and um, worship him this season, especially this season as we prepare for Easter. So let's pray. If you could fold your hands, by your heads. Dear faithful God, we thank you for your eternal life. Thank you for sharing that with us, um, even though we don't deserve it. Lord, what an amazing God you are. Um, please help us to remember that. Lord, today we lift up some prayer requests. Um, our fifth graders, just we lift up the coronavirus, Lord, and all those who are working towards it, trying to figure out a way to help people who are sick. Um, so Lord, just be with those scientists, those doctors, everybody who's, um, working towards a better future and a healthier one. Uh, Lord, um, Maddie wants to lift up Tia and just say thank you that she's back from Florida safely. Um, Shemek wants to just ask that we, you keep all of us safe from the coronavirus. Jason, Lord, um, lifts up the online classes and asks that everything goes well this week and whenever we, you know can go back. Ella wants to lift up her aunt's work, Lord, um, and, and the people that are working there because some cases were found, so please be with those people and keep them safe and healthy. And then also be with Ella's stepmom's daughter, who's coming home from Colorado soon, so be with them and keep them safe. And Ella also lifts up her birthday that's coming up soon. Uh, she'll be in quarantine, but we just pray she has an awesome birthday. Um, Lord, Hope wants to ask that you just keep us safe and also her grandparents safe from the virus. Um, Anya wants to lift up Ella's aunt, Ella's birthday. Um, 
she lifts up John Lord. Please help him to enjoy being in our class and uh, let his transition to a new school be fine. Um, she also, or Calvin lifts up um, his brother, Corey, whose birthday was yesterday. So continue to bless his new year, Lord. And then Bridget lifts up her nephew, Lord. Just help him to keep growing and stay healthy and strong. Lord, all these things, we thank you for listening. And um, Lord, please watch over us today um, as we learn some new things, as we do some work, and as we just live our lives and hang, get to hang out with our family. Um, thank you, Lord. In your awesome name we pray. Amen.